Welcome to this all new special senior edition of Channel 97 News. I'm Adam Rowland. Today, we take a look at our seniors' favorite memories from the 2013-2014 school year. My favorite story would be to toss up between the Mr. OHS promo and the Ebert story. I like the Ebert story just because he's like one of my favorite teachers and it was just really fun to like go like deeper into his life and see what he does after school and then Mr. OHS promo was just like really fun. My favorite story was the tattoo story because I got to go to an unusual place and talk to some unusual people, show some unusual art. My favorite story we did, me and Zach together, was definitely the Marissa Simon story. We stayed there for a double header, got to watch her play two games, she played very well, then got to interview her after the game along with her coach, and it was just cool to be able to actually go to a, you know, a sporting event other than something at Oakville and do a story on someone that's doing well. A year ago, I did a story about how I was uh, in a car drifting with Jeff Maddock and his 300ZX. Just an absolute adventure to shoot. It was like one of the most exhilarating moments of my life, getting, uh, getting to be there, you know, <laughs> going 60 miles an hour on turns, being sideways on a track. My favorite moment in broadcast is probably um, when the journalism department went to Boston and we took like little workshops on it and then probably also the first time I anchored because you feel cool. <laughs> My favorite story that I worked on uh, this year in broadcast class was the story about the uh, Towel Man, the St. Louis Blues Towel Man. Uh, I thought it was cool to be able to meet him and find out the facts like he went to Oakville. Uh, I just thought that was really cool and it was a really challenging story um, and to be able to pull it off was really awesome. My favorite part of broadcast was when I was sad and could show and give me food and also when I was supposed to go to Boston but I did it, so I stayed home and cried. My favorite part was Robbie and Joe's segments. I need to watch those every time they did their broadcasts. I would have to say my favorite memory of broadcast would have to be my second semester junior year, whenever I finally got to do my first Hear Me Out. Uh, nobody really had any confidence in me. I had to like beg, I had to plea. Nobody thought it was gonna be good, but I somehow managed to get it, and I, I did it, and everybody, the school liked it, and, and now here I am. When my last segment aired, we told you guys that uh, there was my last Hear Me Out, but I've actually got one more thing I'd like to talk about. A lot of you guys come up to me during school and say to me that I just complain about random stuff. Well, I got two things to say about that. One, I'm not complaining about them. I'm just talking about them. And two, if you want me to complain, I can do that. Now hear me out, Oakville. Why would a company advertise its product like food when its company slogan is fun to play with, not to eat? Oh boy, Play-Doh! No, 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 mm -mm, no! Joe, what are you, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be doing a skit. No, I'm not eating Play-Doh, Robbie. Good show, just, just do it, it's for the broadcast. No, no, I'm tired of being your funny monkey. Now, hear me out. You ain't the only one running the show. I'm not some sideshow Bob or some low blow Joe. I'm the master script writer of lyrical form. Been writing mad stand up since before you was born. Man, you ain't even funny. The skits is all that they love. No one listens to what you say or what you speak of. Dude, the camera loves me. You, not at all. How many takes we doing, Robbie? Man, you trying to stall? You think this getting you ladies? You think this getting you fame? Man, you can't even speak right when you get to my name. When it comes to being funny, there's not much else else to say. Choosing between you and me, it'll be Joe K. Joe, shut your mouth. Don't know what you're talking about. If you ran Hear Me Out, the whole show would go south. I built a legacy. A segment for the ages. I'm about to break it down. I'm the perfect commentator. My opinions are stellar. You think I need you, Mr. Joe Keller? You think you're the one that people love and adore? Your acting is subpar. And frankly, a bore. My voice is golden, and I speak the truth. You only act out the things that I find uncouth. Aw, oh, you think you're famous? The Mr. Big Man? Look at this B-roll. You can't even pan. Man, your creative process is like that of diarrhea. Every skit we ever did was my idea. Now y'all done listening to Hear Me Pout. Thanks for listening, Oakville. This was my final 
hear me out. Well, that wraps up this special senior edition of Channel 97 News. We hope you have enjoyed watching our shows as much as we have enjoyed putting them out for you. And for one final time, remember Oakville, keep your eyes on the Tigers.